Oh, hi. You um, actually came. <laughs> That's great. Huh? Oh, no, it's not that I, I thought you wouldn't come. I just... Oh, who am I kidding? I, I didn't know if you would actually come. I mean, I'm just some weird guy you literally ran into in the park <laughs> and had coffee with one time. There's not really any real reason for you to want to see me again. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, you're right. I'm I'm being too hard on myself, yeah. And that's a good point. You're the one who asked me to coffee before. <laughs> Yeah, I'm overthinking it. I, I do that with everything. It's my greatest strength, but also my greatest weakness. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it made me nervous texting you to meet up again, but you're here, so I'm glad I did. It's kind of funny, actually. I guess another reason why I was afraid you wouldn't show up is because last time I asked a guy to meet me here, I, I got stood up. <laughs> so I was kind of wondering if this place is maybe bad luck or something. But I guess that's just me being ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, isn't this a super cute wine bar? I I like to come here to pretend I'm sophisticated. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't know anything about wine other than that I like the way it tastes. <laughs> I'm definitely not a wine snob. I well, I mean I know it tastes good to me. I know whether or not I like something once I taste it. And I try to remember what I did or didn't like, but that's as far as it goes. What about you? Mm. Yeah, I get that, totally. Yeah. Well, I guess we should take a look at the menu and decide what we want, right? That's typically how bars and restaurants work, <laughs> at least in my experience. Well, I feel like celebrating, so I think I want something bubbly, probably some kind of rosé. Did you want to get anything to eat, or...? Well, yeah, they have typical wine bar fare, I think, like cheeses and bread and stuff like that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that has goat cheese. Nice. Yeah, get it. Get whatever you want. I'm, I'm covering everything tonight. No, I'm the one who asked you out, so I'll get it. You can, you can get it next time. <laughs> um, hi. Yeah. Could I start with a glass of, uh, that? I think, uh... Yeah, I think he wanted something to eat, too. Okay. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, sometimes I like to pretend to be fancy and come to places like this. <laughs> I wasn't really raised around things like this. It's all pretty new to me. It's opened up to me in my adult life. Yep, we didn't have a whole lot when I was growing up. Just kind of scraped by, you know? My parents did the best they could for us, but... We went without a lot of things, like proper nutrition <laughs> being one of them a lot of the time. Had to kind of learn that later in life, too. Yeah. And just anything financial, you know, we didn't have money when I was growing up, and my parents knew nothing about finances, so I'm still working on learning that stuff. Oh, here's our drinks. That's, that was fast. Um, cheers. But yeah, it's funny how they don't really teach you a lot of things in school that are actually pretty essential things to know. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, that's a perfect example. Exactly. Hmm? I went to public school, you know, not in the best school district in the world, but... You make the most of what you have, play the best you can with the hand you're dealt, you know. I actually always loved school. I was a big reader. I was always writing things. I always knew I wanted to be some kind of writer. Yeah, I know. Not everyone likes school. A lot of people hate school. <laughs> but I always liked learning things. I just kind of felt in my element. I was the weird kid who got good grades that all the cool kids ignored. Unless they wanted to try to copy my homework. <laughs> Which, I let them do that a couple times. But then I just got fed up with it because... Why should other people get to profit off my work for free when they did nothing, you know? It started to piss me off, and... One time this guy asked to copy my homework, and I just told him to fuck off. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty taken aback, but... No, he didn't really do anything, he just kind of left me alone. I mean, what was he gonna do? Tell somebody? Tell the teacher? And he was the one who was trying to cheat? <laughs> 
yeah, I don't know. It feels good to stand up for yourself, even though it's not always the easiest thing to do. Yeah, I think people assume just because I'm more on the shy side that I'm some kind of pushover, but I'm not. Underestimate me at your own peril. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't talking about you, obviously. But yeah, after I graduated from university, I didn't have a job for a while, and I just felt really lost. Like, I didn't know what to do with my free time without studying to occupy it. And I've been a student since forever, you know. It's kind of, you know, who I was. So I didn't know who I was anymore. But then I began my career and fell in love with that, and it's kind of taken the place of studying. It's like a new obsession, if you will. <laughs> Yeah, I know. You can't define yourself by what you do for a living or by what you produce, your work. Mm hmm Yeah, so forth runs deeper than that. It was easier said than done, though, I think. That's something a lot of people struggle with, myself included. But learning to love yourself is really worth it in the end, you know? it's You know what they say, if you don't love yourself, how are you going to love anyone else? <laughs> yeah. Wise words. Oh, I've actually started looking for a dog, by the way. Yeah, just seeing what's out there. I think, I think I need the company. I think it'd be good for me to have something to be responsible for, to take care of, you know? Something to love. Yeah, I think more of a small dog would be good, as my apartment isn't very big. Oh, yeah, next time we should definitely meet somewhere where you can bring your dog. Sorry, I forgot about that. I would love to meet your dog. Ah, I went through my glass of rosé already. <laughs> I was drinking too fast. Mm, confession time. <laughs> I had a glass already while I was waiting for you earlier. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I've been chewing your ear off. I'm sorry. I kind of went on a ramble. Uh, I guess now you know a bit more about me, so I want to get to know more about you. Uh, how long have you had your dog? Okay. Oh, right. Did you want to get real food? I think they have entrees here, or we could go somewhere else to eat. I'll, I'll leave that up to you. Okay, yeah, let's, let's look up what's around here. See what our options are. <laughs>